those two skins of this medium yarn and crochet needle 4.5 First start with making a slip knot. And now I will make a chain of 58. I've made a chain of 58. Now I will start in the fourth chain. One, two, three, and four. This is my fourth chain. I'll yarn over, insert, pull up the yarn, yarn over, and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. This is my first double crochet. And now I will make five more. Yarn over, insert, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So yarn over, insert in the chain, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Now I have made six double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And the first chain three will count as one double crochet. So I'll have a total of seven double crochet. And now I will chain two. One and two. And now I will make 14 double crochet in the next 14th chain. So insert in the next chain. So now I've made 14 double crochet and I will chain two, one and two. And in the next double crochet, I will make a double crochet. And again, I will make 14 double crochet.
So again, I've made 14 double crochet and now I will chain two, one and two. Now I will make another 14 double crochet. I will start in the next chain. And again, I've made 14 double crochet and chain two, one and two, and on the last seven chain, in each chain, one double crochet. So this is how my work looks like. First chain three and six double crochet, chain two and fourteen double crochet, chain two, fourteen double crochet, chain two, fourteen double crochet, chain two, and seven double crochet and now I will start with row two I will turn my work and chain three one two and three and count this as my first double crochet and now in each stitch I will make one double crochet one I've made six double crochet in total of seven including this chain three and now I'm at the chain two space and in a space I will make two double crochet one and two and now chain two one and two and in the same space make two double crochet repeat this in each space two double crochet chain two and two double crochet in one space on the next 14 double crochet I will make one double crochet on each stitch in the space two double crochet chain two two double crochet 14 double crochet two double crochet in the space chain two two double crochet 14 double crochet in the space two double crochet chain two Two double crochet 
and on the last seven stitches on each stitch one double crochet so make seven double crochet I will see you in row three I'm now at the end of row two and now I will turn my work and start with row three I will chain three one two and three and make a double crochet on, on each stitch I've made eight double crochet plus this chain three, which will count as one double crochet, which make a total of nine double crochet. And now I arrived at the space. In the space, I will make two double crochet, chain two, one. And two and two double crochet. I will repeat this in each space. And now on the next 18 double crochet, I will make a double crochet on each stitch in the space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. 18 double crochet in the corner, 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet, 18 double crochet and in the corner, in the space, 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet and on the last 9 stitches on each stitch, 1 double crochet. I'm at the end of row 3 and now I will start with row 4. I will turn my work and chain 3, 1, 2 and 3 and make a double crochet on each stitch. I've made 10 double crochet plus this chain 3 of the beginning which make 11 double crochet. In the corner in the space I will make 2 double crochet. Chain 2 and 2 double crochet. Repeat this in the corner. And now on the next stitches I will make 22 double crochet in the corner, 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet, 22 double crochet in the corner, 2 double crochet, chain 2. 2 double crochet, 22 double crochet in the corner, 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet, and on the last 11 stitches, I will make 1 double crochet. So 11 double crochet. And this is how my work looks like. I've made four rows and now I will start with row five. Uh, 
will turn my work and chain three. One, two, three. Make a double crochet on each chain, which is 12 double crochet, including the chain three, which will count as one double crochet, which will make 13 double crochet. Now I'm in the corner and in the corner I will make two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet on this double crochet I will make 26 double crochet in the corner two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, 26 double crochet in the corner. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, twenty six double crochet, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and on the last thirteen stitches, I will make thirteen double crochet. Okay, I have finished row five, and now I will start with row six, and in row six, I will connect. The arms. I will start with chain three, one, two, and three, and make a double crochet in each chain. In each stitch, I mean. I've made 15 double crochet plus this chain 3 from the beginning. And now in the corner I will double crochet to 1 and 2. And now I will skip this double crochet and go directly to the next corner. So I will fold it like this. And in this corner I will make two double crochet. One and two. So now you have connected and this will be your armhole. You can see this will be the back of the dress. And this is your armhole. And now I will continue making a double crochet on each stitch. Okay, I've crocheted 30 double crochet plus these two from the beginning, which make a 32, and now in the corner, and I will make two double crochet in the space, and now again for the armhole, I will skip these stitches and fold it together. So in the next corner, I will make two double crochet in the space, one and two. So this is the next armhole, so I have two armholes, 
And now I will continue making a double crochet on each stitch and connect in the end of this row. On the last chain three on top of the chain I will make the last double crochet and now I will connect to the other side with a slip stitch. I will make a slip stitch into the chain in the last chain three. So now I will start with row 7 and I will chain 3 and make a double crochet on each stitch. I don't have to turn my work now, just make a double crochet. Okay, I've made a double crochet on each stitch and now I'm entering where I close the armholes and in this part I will make three extra double crochet in one stitch. So in this stitch, three, one, two and three double crochet and now I will continue on the front part of the dress making a double crochet in each stitch okay I've made a double crochet on each stitch and I arrived at the other connecting where I connected the arms and in this stitch I will also make three double crochet. So one, two and three. And now I will go finish the back making a double crochet on each stitch and connect at the end with a slip stitch. I'm at the end of row 7, I will close the row with a slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning. And now I will chain 3, 1, 2 and 3. And in the first stitch I will make 2 double crochet. one and two and now chain one and in the same stitch make three double crochet one two and three So the first chain three count as one double crochet, then two double crochet, chain one and three double crochet. Now skip two stitches, one and two, and in the third stitch make three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain one, and in the same stitch, make three double crochet. 
वन टू एंड थ्री नाउ यू रिपीट दिस इन रो एट स्किप टू मेक थ्री डबल क्रोशे Chain one. Make three double crochet in the same stitch. One, two, and three. You repeat this in this row. I'm at the end of row eight. I will close the row with a slip stitch into the third chain and now I will make one slip stitch to go to the second stitch. Now chain three, one, two and three. Make a double crochet in the next stitch. And now add the space and now in the space I will make a double crochet, chain one and one double crochet. In the next double crochet, one double crochet. And in this double crochet, one double crochet. Now I will skip two double crochet, the last double crochet of this bundle and the first double crochet of this bundle and make one double crochet in a second double crochet. Make another double crochet in the next double crochet. In the middle, in the space, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. In the next, two double crochet, one double crochet in each one. I'll repeat this. So. Skip the last double crochet and the first double crochet of the bundle and one double crochet, one double crochet in the middle, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, one double crochet and one double crochet. I'm at the end of row 9. I will close the row with a slip stitch into the third chain and make one slip stitch to the second stitch and chain 3, 1, 2 and 3 and now in the next stitch make one double crochet. Now in the space I will make two double crochet chain one and two double crochet in the next two stitches make one double crochet Now skip the last stitch and the first stitch 
of the bundle. And in the second stitch, make one double crochet. Another double crochet in the, in the third stitch. And I'm at the space again. In the middle, I will make two double crochet. Chain one and two double crochet. And now on the next two stitches, make one double crochet. So you will repeat this. Skip the last stitch of the bundle and the first stitch of the new bundle. Make one double crochet. In the next stitch, one double crochet. In the middle, in the space, two double crochet. Chain one. And two double crochet in the same space. And I'm now at the last three stitches and make one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet, and skip the last stitch and the first stitch of the new bundle. So this is row 10, and you will repeat this pattern in row 10. I now at row 11. First I will make a slip stitch to go to the second stitch and chain 3. And I will make a double crochet in a third stitch and one double crochet in a fourth stitch and in the middle in the space I also make one double crochet and chain one and make another double crochet in the middle and now on these four double crochet on the first three I will make one double crochet so you can see on this bundle the first double crochet I made three chain and then Three double crochet and now I will skip the last double crochet of this bundle and the first double crochet of the next bundle and I will start in the second double crochet make one double crochet in the next double crochet one double crochet and in the third double crochet, one double crochet, and in the middle, one double crochet, chain one, and in the same space, one double crochet. On the next three double crochet in each stitch. One double crochet, so repeat this pattern, skip the last double crochet and the first double crochet of the next bundle 
and make three double crochet in the middle in the space make one double crochet chain one and one double crochet and in the next three double crochet make one double crochet And now I will start with row 12. First I will make a slip stitch to go to the second stitch and chain 3. This chain 3 will count as my first double crochet. And in a third double crochet I will make a double crochet. And in a fourth double crochet, one double crochet. And now in the middle, in this space, I will make two double crochet. Chain one and two double crochet. And now on the next three double crochet, one double crochet in each stitch so now you can see I've made five double crochet and chain one in the middle and here also five double crochet now skip the last stitch and the first of the new bundle and make a double crochet in the second stitch one double crochet in a third stitch and one double crochet in a fourth and now I've reached the middle you will make two double crochet chain one and two double crochet. Now on the next three double crochet, one double crochet in each stitch. And repeat this pattern in row 12. So you have bundles of five double crochet chain one and five double crochet so 13 first I will make slip stitch to go to the second stitch and chain three this chain three will count as my first double crochet now in the third double crochet I will make a double crochet and in the fourth one double crochet and in the fifth also one double crochet I'm now in the middle in the space I will make one double crochet chain one and one double crochet I'm now at the five double crochet and in the first four I will make one double crochet so one two three and four so this is in the next row and skip two stitches 
the last stitch of this bundle and the first of the next bundle and start in the second stitch make one double crochet in each stitch And in the middle, make one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. And in the next four stitches, make one double crochet. This row 13 you will repeat until row 25 and then you will fasten off. As you can see I have finished the dress and on the back I've made a little button. I just do it on this side and used the space to fasten it. Thank you for watching.